Hello, what is going on everybody? Welcome back. This is chord patterns, broken chord patterns for beginners. We have three chords. We're gonna start with the A minor chord and our first goal is just to get the right fingering and the note. So we have five finger on C, third finger on A, one finger on E. The pattern is gonna be eighth notes in four four time, but we're gonna end on beat four. We're gonna end with a quarter note because that will help us with a smoother transition. Sounds like this, one and two and three and four. And then we're gonna to go to E minor, watch what my hand does. Now we have one and two and three and four, back to A minor. One and two and three and four. To G major, one and two and three and four. I'm gonna put the right hand in, we're just doing roots for now, we're gonna stay close. And quarter notes, slowly. Three and four and one and two three and four, E minor, one and two and three and four, A minor, one and two and three and four to the G, one and two, three and four. And if you can stick around, I'll play one of the patterns faster so you get an idea. If you're liking my videos, by the way, it means a lot if you can hit the thumbs up button and a quick shout out to Andreas, thank you. You're practicing a lot and I appreciate your super thanks. All right, I am going to pattern two, which is same hand position, but we're doing the outer to the bottom to the middle. So it looks like this, one and two, three and four to the E minor, one bottom, and four back to the A minor, top, bottom, middle, and now to the G, and one, and two, and three, and four. And before I add in the left hand, I like to add in some power tips. Remember, we're not just pressing keys, we're making sound. And I say this a lot, listen to your sound. And if you're getting the coordination down, start thinking about technique, keeping that hand round. That's important because once you get bad techniques, it takes a lot of work to get out of it. All right, here I go, pattern two, both hands with the roots. Here I go, one and two and three and four and E minor, one, and two, and three, and four, back to the A minor, one, and two, three, and four, and to the G, one, and two, and three, and four. All right, if you're new here, you might wanna subscribe because next week I'm gonna add in some pedal and left hand. Here I go, pattern three. This might be my favorite, but let me know what you think. Here I go with the bottom note by itself and then the middle and the top note placed together. Sounds like this. One and two and three and four. E minor, two and three and four. Back to the eight. One and two and three and four to the G. One and two and three and four. I know some of you might say I'm going too fast. Remember YouTube does have that cog wheel so you can slow it down. Let me know though, most of you seem to be okay with the instruction I'm given, but I can't read through the internet, so communicate. Here I go, both hands, not too fast. One and two and three and, I cheated, I'm using the pedal a little bit. One and two and three and four to the A minor. One and two and three and four to the G. One and two and three and four. All right, there's a lot I could say about different ways to make these patterns more musical. I'm gonna add that in later. One of the things, though, if you notice that rhythm on the quarter note, since it's a longer sound, that's really important because that will help you work on transitions. I wish I had like some dice to roll which pattern I should do. Um, I guess I'll, since my brain is kind of working today, I will do pattern three a little faster. And I'm gonna demonstrate what some learners do. So I'm not gonna go super fast yet. One and two, three, four, E minor. Two, three, and four, A minor. Two, three, and four, G. One, two, three. And you wanna jam on that for a while so you can really feel 
what you're doing with your hands, and then the next sequence around, maybe try it a bit faster. One, and two, and three. That's a good amount faster. One, two, three, and four, and three, and four. It reminds me of certain YouTube videos. They say a little faster, and it's like 500 <laughs> tempos higher. So keep practicing. Slow and steady wins the race. And until next time, take care. And if you want more accompaniment videos and chords, I have a bunch right here. Bye-bye.